Hello children, I welcome you to this yet another class of English for grade 6. I hope you are well at your homes. Children, you would have heard a lot of stories on friendship. Of course, you would uh, have enjoyed such stories and you would have learnt many things from such stories. The first thing that you would have learnt is about your contribution in a friendship. Secondly, there are some confusions and ups and downs in the period of friendship. So, you would have learnt that the friends have to come out of such ups and downs and they finally understand each other's problems and they become friends again. Our today's story is one such story on friendship, but there is a twist in the tale where the story not only talks about friendship, but about judgment also. So, when a friend becomes a judge, when he becomes a head punch and then he has to give a judgment without keeping in mind whether the judgment is in favor or against his friend. So, let us see what happens in the story. So, the title of the story is Fair Play. It is written by Munshi Premchand, who is a renowned Indian author. It is the seventh unit of Honeysuckle book in class 6. So, as I told you that the story is written by a great Indian author, Munshi Premchand. So, before we go into the story, let us know a bit about the author, Munshi Premchand. Dhanpat Rai Srivastava, who was born on 31st July in 1880 and who died on 8th October in 1936, who is better known by his pen name, Munshi Premchand was an Indian writer famous for his modern Hindustani literature. He is one of the most celebrated writers of the Indian subcontinent and is regarded as one of the foremost Hindi writers of the early 20th century. His novels include Godan, Karmabhumi, Gaban, Mansarovar and Eidgah. He published his first collection of five short stories in 1907 in a book called Soze Vatan. He is known as one of the greatest writers in India. Now, let us enjoy the story. First, let us see who the main characters in the story are. First of all, we have the two friends, Algu Chaudhary and Juman Sheikh. Then, we have Juman's old aunt and the villagers. So, in the beginning of the story, we learn that Algu Chaudhary and Juman Sheikh were very close friends. So strong was their bond of friendship that when either of them went away from the village, the other looked after his family. Both were greatly respected in the village. Juman had an old aunt who had some property. This she transferred to him on the understanding that she would stay with him and he would look after her. The arrangement worked well for a couple of years, but then the situation changed. Jumman and his family were tired of the old relative. Jumman became as indifferent to her as his wife, who grudged even the little food that the old lady wanted every day. She swallowed these insults along with her food for a few months, but patience has its limits. How long could she live like this? This was a big question in her mind. So, one day she spoke to Juman and said, My son, it is now obvious that I am not wanted in your house. So, kindly give me a monthly allowance so that I can set up a separate kitchen. When she said so, 
Juman did not show any sign of surprise. He said, My wife knows best how to run the house. So, be patient. He said so in a shameless manner. This made his aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat. For many days, the old lady was seen talking to the villagers, explaining her case and seeking their support. Some people sympathized with her, others laughed at her and few others advised her to make it up with her nephew and his wife. At last, she came to Algu Chaudhary because she thought that he was his friend and maybe he would be of some help to her. And she spoke to him, but he said, You know aunt, Juman is my best friend. How can I go against him? But aunt said, But is it right, my son, to keep mum and not say what you consider just and fair? Come to the panchayat and speak the truth, she said. To this, Algu did not reply, but the words of the aunt kept ringing in his ears. The panchayat was held the same evening under an old banyan tree. Juman stood up and said, The voice of the panch is the voice of the god. Let my aunt nominate the head punch. I will abide by his decision. The punch knows neither friend nor enemy. What do you say to Algu Chaudhary? The old lady announced. Fine, replied Juman, hiding his joy over this unexpected piece of luck. Chachi, you are aware of my friendship with Juman, said Algu. I know that, replied the aunt. But I also know that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship. God lives in the heart of the punch and his voice is the voice of God. So, the old lady explained her case. Algu said, Juman, you and I are old friends. Your aunt is as dear to me as you. Now, I am a punch. You and your aunt are equal before me. What have you to say in your defense? So, Juman began saying, he said, three years ago, my aunt transferred her property to me. I promised to support her as long as she lived. I have done all I could. There have been a couple of quarrels between my wife and her, but I cannot stop it. Now my aunt is claiming a monthly allowance from me. This is impossible. That's all I have to say. Now Juman was cross-examined by Algu and others. Here they asked him many questions related to the everyday affairs in their house. And then Algu finally announced. He said, we have gone into the matter carefully. In our opinion, Juman must pay his aunt a monthly allowance or else the property goes back to her. Now, the two friends were seldom seen together. The bond of friendship between them was broken. In fact, Juman was Algu's enemy 
and he wanted his revenge. Days passed and as ill luck would have it, Algu Chaudhary found himself in a tight spot. One of his fine pair of bullocks died and he sold the other to Samju Sahu, a cart driver of the village. The understanding between them was that Sahu would pay the price of the bullock in a month's time. It so happened that the bullock died within a month. Several months after the bullock's death, Algu reminded Sahu of the money he hadn't yet paid. Sahu got very annoyed. He said, I cannot pay you a penny for the wretched beast you sold me. He brought us nothing but ruin. I have a bullock. Use it for a month and then return it to me. No money for the dead bullock, he said angrily. Algu decided to refer the case to the panchayat. For a second time, in a few months, preparations for holding the panchayat were made and both the parties started meeting people seeking their support. The panchayat was held under the old banyan tree. Algu stood up and said, the voice of the panch is the voice of God. Let Sahu nominate the head panch. I will abide by his decision. Sahu saw his chance and proposed the name of Juman. Algu's heart sank and he turned pale. But what could he do? The moment Juman became head punch, he realized his responsibility as judge and a dignity of his office. Could he, seated in that high place, have his revenge now? He thought and thought a lot about it. No, he must not allow his personal feelings to come in the way of speaking the truth and doing justice. Both Algu and Sahu stated their cases. They were cross-examined and the case was considered deeply. Many questions were asked to both Algu and Sahu. Then, finally, Juman stood up and announced. He said, it is our opinion that Sahu should pay Algu the price of the bullock. When Sahu bought the bullock, it suffered from no disability or disease. The death of the bullock was unfortunate, but Algu cannot be blamed for it. As Algu heard the decision made by his old friend Jumman, he could not contain his feelings. He stood up and said loudly over and over again, Victory to the Panchayat, this is justice, God lives in the voice of the Panch. So, he was overjoyed at the decision made by Jumman Sheikh. Soon after, Jumman came to Algu. He embraced him and said, since the last panchayat, I had become your enemy. But today, I realized what it meant to be a punch. A punch has no friend nor enemy. He knows only justice. Let no one deviate from the path of justice and truth for friendship or enmity. Algu embraced his uh, friend and wept, and his tears washed away all the dirt of misunderstanding between them. That's how they became 
friends once again, keeping aside all the things that had happened so far. So, children, you have seen that the greatest thing in the world is that you must always be unbiased and must not side with wrong people even if your own people want you to do so. We must always choose the right path only in every situation and should leave everything else to time and God. Finally, all the things will fall in the right place. Secondly, there can be some confusions and misunderstandings in true friendship, but if the friendship is true and loyal, then the friends are able to recognize the essential goodness in each other and they are able to make amends for everything that had happened in a very nice manner. So, children, now is the time for some activity to check your vocabulary which you would have developed through the reading of this story. Today's first activity is the vocabulary enhancer. Through this activity, you will improve your vocabulary on the difficult words in the chapter. The words which I have selected for you are obvious, nominate, allowance, abide by and deviate. You have to simply match the difficult words with their meanings in the opposite column. The first word is obvious. Children, this is a word which is used at many places and is a very commonly used word nowadays. It means clear or apparent. The second word is nominate, the place where the word has been used in the chapter is where the old aunt of Juman Sheikh nominates Algud Chodri as the head punch. So, it clearly suggests its meaning as propose or suggest. The next word is allowance. The old aunt had given the option of being given a monthly allowance by Juman Sheikh, which was rejected by him. So, children, what does it mean? She was simply asking for some monthly stipend or money with which she could lead her life. So, the meaning of the word is payment or grant of money. The next phrase is abide by. The place where this phrase has been used in the chapter is where panchayat was to be held for the first time and Juman Sheikh states, the voice of the punch is the voice of God. Let my aunt nominate the head punch, I will abide by his decision. So, here he simply says that he will obey and follow the decision made by the head punch nominated by his aunt. So, the meaning is obey or follow. The last word is deviate. The word has been used where Juman says, today I realized what it meant to be a punch. A punch has no friend nor enemy. He knows only justice. Let no one deviate from the path of justice and truth for friendship or enemy. So, here he says that personal relationships should not deviate or move away anybody from the rightful path of justice. Hence, the meaning would be to move away, stray or differ. So, children, I have another activity for you now through which you can check your understanding of the 
story here we have two statements and you have to match the sentences under statement 1 with those under statement 2 so let's begin the activity the first one is juman and algu were the best of friends now let's try to find which one would suit here can you see the first one is he believed that his friend would never go against him the second one is she wanted justice no the third one is in the absence of one the other took care of his family is this the one yes this is correct so they were such friends that in the absence of one the other one took care of his family the second statement is juman's aunt transferred her property to him so what why did she transfer her property to him just check is it the fifth one the bond of friendship between him no or the fourth one the condition was that he would be responsible for her welfare certainly this is the one this is correct so she transferred her property on condition that he would take a good care of her the third one is the aunt decided to appeal to the panchayat now why why did she appeal to the panchayat so can you see the statement corresponding with it in statement two list so here it is because she wanted justice the fourth statement is algu was unwilling to support the aunt now why what happened hmm? so here what happened that algu was unwilling to support the aunt because the bond of friendship between him and juman was very strong and this is why if he supported the aunt then this bond could be affected and this is why he did not want to support the aunt even after the aunt had requested him to support her the last one is juman was very happy to hear algu's name as head punch why was he feeling so happy so we have the last option left he believed that his friend would never go against him because we always feel that if our friend has to decide he will always take a decision in our favor so the same was the feeling of juman when he could see that his friend algu todri had been nominated as head punch so after this activity now is the time to assign you some homework which you have to do at your homes the homework is as follows you have to write answers to the questions which are written here the first question is then the situation changed what is being referred to here the second question is when juman's aunt realized that she was not welcome in his house what arrangement did she suggest the third one is what was the villagers reaction when the aunt explained her case to them the fourth one is why was juman happy over algu's nomination as head punch next is algu found himself in a tight spot what was his problem the next question is why was 
Algu upset over Juman's nomination as head punch. The next question is, what was Juman's verdict as head punch? How did Algu take it? The last question is, which of the following sums up the story best? Now, we have three options. The first one is, I also know that you will not kill your conscience for the sake of friendship. Second option is, let no one deviate from the path of justice and truth for friendship or enmity. The third one is, the voice of the punch is the voice of God. So, you have to choose one option out of these three options which sums up the story in the best manner. And after selecting that option, you have to give a reason for your choice. So, children, I hope that you would have enjoyed today's story, which is certainly a very unique story written by Munshi Premchand. Along with the story, we enjoyed some activities to check your understanding of the story and to enhance your vocabulary based on the words which have already been used in the story. You have been assigned some homework and I hope that you will do this homework and you will have great fun doing it. We will meet in the next class. Till then, goodbye.